data we have, it still seems to be rare that an asymptomatic person actually transmits onward to a secondary individual. Uh, I didn't quite get that. Can I hear that one more time? I'm serious. I could not tell what you just said. From the data we have, it still seems to be rare that an asymptomatic person actually transmits onward to a secondary individual. Still didn't quite get that, but Dr. Samadhi went to medical school. He's been listening to doctors all of his life. Uh, doctor, I believe uh, the headline from the World Health Organization is asymptomatic people are not infectious. They're not going to spread the disease. Is that what the WHO is saying? Yes, that's correct, Greg. Look, you and I have been going at this since February of this year. We've covered more than hundreds of these segments on Newsmax TV. The most important segment about what we're going to be talking about COVID is probably tonight because they are taking a 360 degree turn and WHO is announcing, and this is a big news, that asymptomatic people out there are not contagious. Remember, because we didn't know who would be passing this virus or not, we made everybody do something called social distancing. This is a new word that you've heard of it and it came to our life a few months ago. We made everybody across the board to wear masks. At the beginning, we said, if you have symptoms, you wear the mask to protect others. And then we gave in because CDC and everybody kept changing back and forth. We also made everybody to go for testing. We need 300 million tests the next day or else we cannot reopen our country. And guess what? This thing is very important. It's a breaking news that if you are not symptomatic, and you don't have any symptoms of fever, chills, shortness of breath, or any of those symptoms we've spoken about, the risk of passing it on to other people and being contagious is very rare. And studies like this comes from a very accurate tracing in countries like Singapore, contact tracing, and it's too bad that these researchers are not, the papers are not making it to Lancet, and mainstream media is not covering to the extent. This is probably one of the biggest news that we've had since coronavirus outbreak. It's good news. That means really we can visit people that we weren't able to visit. You know, you didn't want to go around somebody of a certain age because you could be carrying it without knowing it. This is good stuff. Thank you for that, Dr. Greg, the, the, yeah, the big thing is that the panic and hysteria is out the door. We can reopen our America. 40 million people have lost their job as a result of this scientific data that was wrong. This is very big news for the country, Greg. Dr. Samadhi, I like it. And for the world! You know what? It's a pandemic all over the world. Dr. Samadhi, hopefully the future Surgeon General of the United States of America. I'm trying to make that happen. I think he'd be great down there. Uh, after this guy gets done, he's pretty good too. But you're great. Dr. Samadhi, thank you very much.